Now, China's ambassador to America was pressed on his support for Russia. Listen to what he had to say. Roll tape. To Will you send money and weapons to Russia, though? Well, there's a, a disinformation about China providing military assistance to Russia. We reject that. You won't and what, do so, what Beijing China, will not. What China is doing is send foods, medicine, sleeping bags, and a baby formula. That's not weapons and ammunition. Food and uh, baby formula, not weapons and ammunition. Congressman Mike Waltz, Florida Republican, joins me now. Do you trust China, Congressman? Yeah, I don't trust them as far as I could throw them, Stu. Look, <laughs> you know, the reason that the Chinese ambassador won't say invasion, the Chinese government won't say invasion, is because they're guilty of invasions. Uh, they inv invaded Tibet decades ago. They just invaded Hong Kong in violation of their agreement with the United Kingdom. Uh, and they've been invading incrementally the South China Sea international waters uh, for, for the last decade and have completely militarized them. So, uh, of course, then the next step is Taiwan, uh, which China would, would classify as an internal matter. And they put that same framework on Russia and Ukraine as an internal security matter for Russia to resolve uh, through whatever means they choose to. So that's the rhetoric and the framework that China wants to maintain, because well, what that's it, leading to is the eventual, what they would say, reunification of China, what we would say is an outright invasion of a democracy in Taiwan and their attempt to dominate the global economy. Well, if they're, they're playing with fire, because if they do supply ammunition or weapons or electronics to Russia, we would know about it. And I believe that President Biden has threatened to sanction China, which is a very different yeah. thing from sanctioning Russia. Would you be prepared to sanction China in trade and finance? Because if we did, all hell breaks loose. Yeah, it does uh, break loose, Stu, but I think we should be sanctioning them right now. We should be putting secondary sanctions on Chinese entities that are outright supporting Russia. Uh, and because we have to take a stand now while we still can. If you look at things militarily, Stu, we're on, pair, we're on par with the Chinese now, but five, 10 years from now, the trend lines are not good. They're out building us in ships five to one. They're launching more into space than us and the rest of the world combined. So we need to take a stand now while we still can. Uh, I wonder if there's any sympathy in Congress for a dramatic increase in the uh, defense budget, which is, I think, necessary, but I'm not sure that the sentiment is there for it. Congressman Michael Walsh, thanks very much, as always, for being with us, sir. We appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir.